you know this about me. We've known each other a really long time. Yes, almost two years. I, oh, how long have we known each other? 16 years. 16 years. Okay, so you know that when it comes to sports. Oh, okay. there's no bigger fan than Kim Commando. I love sports, and especially now because it's basketball time. It is basketball time, <laughs> which is how sports fans all refer to this time of year, <laughs> is basketball time. It's March Madness. March Madness. The NCAA tournament, 64 teams, three weeks, like 100 games, all televised. And, you know, this is a tech show. Why are we talking about sports? Because of the way it affects business. Of course, because people are too busy. 35% of Americans say they watch the NCAA tournament at work. 25% of really? American surveys say they use PTO or sick time. Like on Wednesday, they'll come in like, oh, I don't think I'm feeling good. And then on Thursday, they call in sick so they can watch the NCAA tournament. And businesses report $10 billion in losses every single year because of the NCAA tournament. So so what is the big deal? What do you mean, what is the big deal? It's the NCAA tournament. It's like all-day basketball. Starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, ends at 11 o'clock at night. It's back-to-back -back games, Cinderella stories, big tournament games. Who, who won? It just, it just started, Kim. There is no winner. What, what are you doing there? Nothing. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm just trying to be like an average American. <laughs> So what this means is that if you're watching the podcast and you'd like to be my co-host, come on down. <laughs> oh, made that. Okay, so, so I get this, like I got an email from my attorney. He sends yeah. it to me every year. And it's like this thing like with brackets. <laughs> yeah, the NCAA tournament bracket. <laughs> you almost spit out your water. I I this thing with brackets. So what are you supposed to do with it? I mean, I'm serious. Like, what am I supposed to do? It's 64 teams. Okay. They're in a huge bracket. And you're supposed to predict who will win all the games until you get down to one champion. Okay. Hundreds of billions of dollars are spent on NCAA tournament brackets every single year. But can I say the Phoenix Suns? Yes, you can. I mean, you'll look like a fool and they're not <laughs> in the tournament, but you can absolutely say Okay, it. so do you remember when I, I was at a football game with my brother-in-law? Uh-huh. Okay, and or maybe it was a basketball no, game. No, it was ASU for, uh, football. Yeah, it was a football. Mm -hmm. And so I, I said, you know, just give me some things to say on the side. Yeah, Kim was texting me through the game. And I, of course, I was watching at home, a huge sports fan. And I would give her a little tidbit. And then you would turn to your brother in law and you'd be like, wow, this secondary is really playing well. Because <laughs> he's a big football guy. <laughs> right. And he looked at me like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and then I'd like, I'm like, okay, that worked, Andrew. Okay, give me the. I'd be like, so, you know, the, 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 this is the last time that he played, mm -hmm. blah, 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 in this position when he was at college. And ASU hasn't beaten UCLA since the Rose Bowl in 98. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> and it was going really well until I just, I couldn't stand anymore. I just started laughing. Oh, yeah. But I also was giving you stats. There's no way you would ever know. <laughs> he, he caught you so easily. I know. Well, on that happy note, welcome. It's Kim Commando today, okay, which is now Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Just going to give everybody a heads up. All right. That we're going to be live Monday, Wednesday, Friday. In case you're wondering why, that I can only be in so many places at one time, okay? Okay. <laughs> I mean, you are running a company, doing a radio show on over 500 stations, doing a podcast, writing a newsletter, selling ads for all those things. Okay. It's just too much. I mean, last night I was explaining this to Barry. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know how I can do this every day. And I and he's like, well, I don't know why you can't, Kim. I'm like, <laughs> such a supportive spouse. I know. <laughs> I said, well, let me tell you. Okay, I started my day on the air at WSB. Okay, at 6.30 in the morning. Okay, then just let's work from there. Right. Okay, my head's spinning. So, but you guys and gals are super important to me. Not you. Right. Uh, I'm talking to the listening audience right now and the viewers. So, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's when we are actually going to be doing the live Kim Commando today. Wherever you get your podcast, you can get that audio. Wherever you watch your podcast, you can do that too. Yeah, no other aspect of the show changes except for we'll just not be on in Tuesdays that's and Thursdays. That's it. Uh, and of course, as we're talking along, what do we want? Like, comment, share. Please. Like, comment, share. Turn off the NCAA basketball tournament and comment on this podcast and share it. You love this show. Someone in your life is going to love it as well. And I'm giving away a $500 gift card. Oh. Not to somebody who just comments, but No, no, no. <laughs> no. Something way more important. Signing up for the newsletter. Yeah, you just get one issue, and that's one entry for you to win a $500 gift card at Amazon. You know, because I... I am so giving. I am so gracious. I am so loving. 
do you want to just clone yourself and then that would be your co-host? I would love that. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Be a lot cheaper too. It would. It would. <laughs> just saying. I mean, why don't you do this for free? Because you just love us. Oh, why don't you do this for free? Because you just love the audience. I do right now. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Got you there. You did. All right. Here are the top five things you need to know about tech. It's happening right now. And do you think that uh, Apple's iPhone is a monopoly? How would it be a monopoly? There's Samsung, there's Google Pixel, there's the Jitterbug. I mean, there's so many competitors. The U.S. is suing Apple right now. Why? Saying that it's a monopoly and that, that they make it extraordinarily difficult for you to get rid of your iPhone and go to a Samsung. Well, I mean, isn't that their whole job, their whole goal? I mean, passwords alone is a reason why I probably will never switch because all of my passwords are saved on my phone right. and I don't know any of them and I don't have them stored anywhere else because I'm an idiot. And if I leave the Apple iPhone, then all my passwords are gone. Well, it's an 88-page report. Wow. And they're saying that they are going after Apple because they keep their closed ecosystem. Well, you know they do. Well, doesn't everybody, though? Well, you know, Google kind of lets you go do other things. Okay. You know, Android, there's all these different phones that run Android, but there's only one phone that runs the iOS. Now, here's a number. I did not know this. Uh, in 2023, Apple surpassed Samsung as the world's smartphone leader. I didn't know Samsung was the leader. I would have just assumed it was the iPhone. Poof, went on fire. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, in Q4... All right, let me just ask you this question. Yeah. What percentage of the iPhone market did Apple own in Q4 of 2023? What percentage of the cell phone market? Yes. Well, they're the leader, so I'm going to say like 40%. No. 61%. That's huge. 61%. So, Because well, Apple users ridicule anyone else who doesn't have an Apple phone. Do you? Oh, absolutely. I do, too. Beth, I work with Beth at my uh, other job. I host a radio uh, show on KZ for iHeartRadio. It's called Beth and Friends. And she has an Android, and it just drives me crazy. Why? Because there's so many things we can't do. because I can't edit my texts to her. She takes a video. She sends it from, from her Samsung to my phone. It looks like it came from Mars. <laughs> it's just not compatible. And we, I just sit there every other week and go, can you please just go buy an iPhone? You know, Gen Zers, they won't even talk to somebody who's give, who gives them a green bubble. Oh, no, the green bubble. Yuck. That's not it. All right, moving on. Uh, another lawsuit in New York against YouTube, Facebook, and Reddit in connection with the 2022 Buffalo School shooting. What? They accused the companies of profiting from hate-filled content that radicalized the shooter. This is actually something we're going to talk about later in the show, is how these, these platforms don't take any responsibility for the things that happen on their, their oh, networks. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, and so all these platforms, YouTube, Facebook, and Reddit, you know what they said? Uh, we're just platforms. <laughs> that's it. Okay. We just don't have anything to do with that. Mm -mm. It's just, we're just a platform. Go blame them. Yes. We're it's, innocent. It's not us. It's not us. Uh, in some good news, it actually happened here in Arizona. What happened? A guy by the name of Nolan Arba, uh, 29 years old, paralyzed from the shoulders down because of a diving accident. Mm -hmm. He's the guy that got Elon Musk Neuralink chip. Did you watch the video? Yes. So cool. He's playing chess. Yes. It's, what do you think? I think it's the future. I think it's something that you would have said. Like, I have an uncle who's, who's really tech savvy. And he's like, we will never have self-driving cars. Do you understand how much that? And, you know, that's the mindset. This will be never happen. And he is playing chess with his mind. It's amazing. It is amazing. I saw another video uh, where a guy, they ran into a guy at a Best Buy. And he has this cool metallic looking arm. And they're like, oh, how do you control that? Is it on your phone? He's like, no, I just think. It's connected to the tendons in my arm, and there's sensors inside, and when I move, it knows how to move. And I'm like, wow, this is the future. It's like the bionic. What was that show called? The Six Million Dollar Man. Oh, yeah, the Six Million Dollar Man. <laughs> That's what I would need. So if you could have, like, something bionic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what would it be? Finish your question. <laughs> uh, it would obviously be my legs. <laughs> You're blushing. All three of them. <laughs> You're blushing. <laughs> you little, it's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> you little tripod, you. Uh, Microsoft released some new Surface devices. Yay. And I want to just say, I told everybody about this in the free Kim Commando Show newsletter that mm -hmm. you can sign up for at getkim.com. 
um, about uh, about six weeks ago, I said, do not buy a Microsoft Surface tablet because they're coming out with new ones. But now I can get the older ones for cheap. But guess what the new ones have? What? You're going to be super excited. Can I take one guess? What? AI. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Now, you were sick yesterday when you talked about how the fact I came across AI inserted into my life for the first time ever without me asking. I did a Google search, and it came up with the normal search results. Right. And then all of a sudden, boom, this Gemini pop-up happens, and they had all my information there. Everything I was looking for was right there. Which goes to show what I predicted. Which is? In 2022, October, I said the web is dead. <laughs> okay, yeah. The web is dead. I didn't need to click on a website. You're absolutely right. Web is totally dead. Do you know what search traffic is going to be down over the next year? How much? 66%. That's a lot of revenue for Google. Okay, and think about everybody who is involved in website development. Mm -hmm. okay. You have the developers. You have the servers. You have all the software. That's like 30, That's 40 jobs. Okay. <laughs> then you also have all the marketing people, mm -hmm. search engine optimization, the advertisers, the advertising networks, the pre-bidders. This is like a whole industry that's going to go like... <laughs> but a huge portion of that can just shift over to AI, right? No. They it, can't? The advertisers and all those agencies? The advertisers can. At some just, point, it's, you know, the, the search results on AI will say sponsored absolutely. by... Absolutely. Somebody. Um, but... A lot of what we've known for the last 20, 25 years is just gone. After Wednesday's show, I picked up my son, and we went to Chick-fil-A, and we were eating dinner. And I I somehow ended up taking care of six children at one time. Excellent. And I had to feed them, so I just stuffed Chick-fil-A in their mouths. <laughs> it was like $100. But I said, I, I have good news for you, Francis. And he said, what? And I said, I figured out what you're going to do for a living. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, you're getting into AI, whether you want to <laughs> or not, because that's where the future is. By the time he gets into it, it's going to be a whole different ball of wax. Well, but yeah, but it's still going to keep growing, right? Yeah, well, so back to this uh, Microsoft service, yeah. you're right. It has an actual button. <laughs> you have to push a button? There's a button on the keyboard that says Copilot. Ooh. Yes. Why not just integrate it? But you can't um, buy this yet. It's only for business. Oh, okay. $1,199. That's not bad. Uh, you can buy it for consumers, they say, coming in May. Okay. Okay. Uh, and finally, this, coming in from Hudson Yards in New York City, which is like a... Have you ever been there? No. That's right. You've never been to New York. No. Can't believe you've never been to Manhattan. I can't believe you picked that as a point to ridicule someone. Because it's like, <laughs> it's like one of the greatest cities. I've I mean... Been, I've been to Chicago. I've been to Washington, D.C. How many times have you been to Vegas? Uh, 12. Okay. <laughs> All right. See my point. Okay. I want to expand your horizon. Sure. I want to go to New York. Yeah, you should. All right. So what's happening in Hudson Bay? Is that there is a coffee bar there. And there is a barista by the name of Justin. Okay. And Justin makes perfect coffees. Okay. okay. Like, I'm intrigued. Okay, and like, you know, like, you know how like they make those little designs on the coffee? And so like, you know, if you wanted like something like with the NBA, he could do anything that you want, as intricate as it can be. Like, I saw like a picture of like a dragon on the top of a coffee. Just all that work to go <laughs> ruined. But it's just beautiful. Sure. Okay. Um, coffee is a little expensive because it is in New York. And then when you get done, of course, you know, you're presented with the iPad. And the iPad says, do you want to tip 15%? Right. 20%. 20%. Or 30%. 30%. Oh, third. we're already jumping okay. up to 30. Now, the reason why I bring this up is that Justin is a robot. You can't tip a robot. <laughs> what does a robot do with the tip? <laughs> Buys more batteries? I don't know. <laughs> such a scam. <laughs> Buys some more lube? for. So is the, is the coffee shop under attack? Yes. Because, because they're asking tips from something that can't do anything with a tip? Right, exactly. And it then, doesn't even have a wage. How is it going to have a tip? They're saying, well, you know, it goes to the staff. Are they all, all, all else robots <laughs> as well? No. So would you tip a robot? No, absolutely not. I most of the time don't even hit, tip humans. Really? No. I tip everybody all the time. They always ask, though. Someone, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, that yeah. someone was at the self-checkout and asked if you wanted to tip. <laughs> I know, my plumber wanted a tip. <laughs> I was like, this like, is a joke. It's just awful. Just awful. I'm waiting for the punchline. No, that's it. Oh, your plumber literally wanted a tip? Yes. Oh, did you tip him? <sighs> yeah. No, I didn't tip him. You didn't? No. 
How did he ask for a tip? He just put his hand out like no on the bill when he was all done, and then it said like it said plus tip, and then of course I said yeah, but I get thirty percent off because you know I'm Barry Young's wife. Sure. (laughs) Okay. And he's like, well, I don't know anything about that, and so I said, you know, so are you going to leave the crapper full or what? Because I didn't tip you. (laughs) You know, nothing says class like no. You don't want to say like you want to say the crapper. You're so elegant. Hey, it's Kim Commando today. Just a quick update that we are now live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just because, you know, I got a lot of stuff going on, but you guys and gals are super important to us. Uh, And just a quick reminder, too, that we're giving away that $500 Amazon gift card. I forgot to say where you could win. So let's see if Andrew remembers that special address. Getkim.com. That's not it. It's not? That's how you get the newsletter, ding dong. Where, where, win for Kim? Win with Kim? <laughs> win from Kim. Win from I put in getkim.com yesterday, and it pulled up the newsletter and entered for $500. No, it didn't. Oh, no. I tried to trick you, but it See, didn't. It didn't. Yeah, you know what? You think, what do you think? You think I just, like, just got up the turnip truck over here? You think I'm just new? No, I just hope you would just glaze by my mistakes and we move on. All right. Win from Kim.com. Win from Kim. Dot com. You know, oh, just an update on the Hey Dudes. Yeah, oh, there's an update? Yeah, it is. Um, I sent Allie a note and said, are you, are you going to really wear those Hey Dudes? And she said, nah. So we sent them back to Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> you returned them? Yes. Get your money back. It was a good bit. It was. It served its purpose. It's like 60 bucks. So the government of India, uh, they don't like social media. Okay. They've already banned TikTok. 2019, they put together a uh, group inside the government to try and change how social media works in India. And what they've decided is there will be a council that monitors all social media traffic when it comes, I know, I know, when it comes to issues about the government. Okay. And they will then declare whether or not it's accurate or inaccurate, whether it's true or false. Social media is not happy with this, and they're fighting back. The Supreme Court actually today— This is in India? Yes. The Supreme Court actually today in India said it's unconstitutional, and they have put the plans on on pause. But what their whole point is is they're trying to hold social media companies responsible, like we said in the last segment, for the things that happen on their platform. Okay. How can they do this in India where people crap in the streets? Okay. Okay, and we can't do it here in the United States. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But they they already banned TikTok. They did it overnight without telling anyone. Literally 200 million users woke up the next morning and TikTok was not a thing anymore in India. But the bigger point for me is these platforms should be held responsible. I well, don't understand how we allow these companies to get out. I made the analogy yesterday when we were talking about this in our meeting. If I had a gun in my, I'm a gun owner, have a gun in my house, it's in a gun safe. If one day I were just to leave it out on the counter and my neighbor's kid comes over and yes. something tragic happens, guess who's responsible? You. I can't say it's the guts is the gun's fault. It's me. I'm the gun owner. I'm the one who put it out. Why do we say it's okay for Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat not to be held responsible for the things that happen on their platform? I don't understand this. I think, I, I've never understood this, that, that, that we have these major corporations, trillion-dollar corporations. You want to talk about money? I looked up the money. Okay. I looked at the profits of just Meta. It's obviously the biggest. Right. $106 million in profit. For what period? Per day. You're cr- you really 2023 38 billion dollars in profits this is even including the billions they are losing on the metaverse like no one's using the metaverse yeah. but they're still investing they in it they have their legs in the universe uh, and they, so they have 44 billion dollars in cash flow they had made 38 billion dollars in profit last year they have the money to at least make an attempt why don't we at least force them to make an attempt well they to do monitor? have they have the content moderators and I understand what I've read about these content moderators is that it is a horrendous job because anytime somebody flags something, that human eyes have to see this. Right. And that they can only have they can only do this job for like 45 minutes, an hour at a time. Because of all think of everything they're seeing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Rapes, murders. Right. Pedophilia. And this is happening daily. Yes. Not just in America, globally. Right. Human and trafficking, drug deals. This all happens on these social media right. apps. And so and so the people who see this, they're like, 
emotionally duress and all this other stuff. But you're right. I mean, they need to come up with something. They can figure out an algorithm that tells me, like, for example, you know, I've had a cold since I came back from Japan. Right. And I was coughing. I opened up Facebook. Guess what I saw an ad for? What'd you see? Uh, therapies to reduce your cough. What a coincidence. That's Who knew? crazy. Who knew? Now, I don't know if I'm overstepping my bounds here, but before the show, I was talking to Maddie, <clears throat> and we put up a TikTok on the Kim Commander Today TikTok page, and it got pulled down within minutes because they thought it was a scam. What was it about? Uh, get the Amazon gift card and the giveaway. Oh, no, really? Yes. And so she's working with them. She's trying to get it unturned because it's obviously it's not a scam. We legitimately are. And it's not a lottery. You don't have to pay any money. It's free to win. Uh, but if they have those systems in place. Why can't they find something else? But also, why aren't they held responsible? If some kid is bullied to the point where he commits suicide right. live on the internet, why can TikTok and why can Meta just go... Not our problem. Yeah, and Mark Zuckerberg sits there and says, okay, I'm just going to build another bunker right. in Kauai. I mean, they monetize the value of a child using their social media networks. They find value in us as people, except for when it comes to our values. I think it's because it's a tech company. I think tech companies get a free pass. Why? Because I, I, I don't understand why, but I think a lot of people do because they don't understand how it all works. Right. And, and so there's like, oh, well, that's a tech company. You know, which I've talked about too. Imagine if United Airlines did not have an 800 number for a customer to call. We would be like in outrage. Absolutely. Okay. But with Meta or anybody else, like, oh, well, there's no 800 number. I have to go online and fill out a form and then, you know, 25 business pray. days yes. from now, you may get a automated response. Exactly. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I am not for government, big government, government intervention. But the fact, the only thing I can think of is the people that would have to make the change are the ones that are also benefiting off of it. Yes. Using social media and these platforms to keep their own jobs. And they don't want to take anybody off. Right. But it's, social media is dangerous. Like, I'm literally considering talking to my, the mother of my kids that my kids just aren't going to get social media. I don't think they should be on social media. I think it's detrimental to their psyche, especially during their teenage years. Right. And this I'm not alone. Bad. What do you think the number one deleted app of 2023 was? Was it TikTok? Instagram. Oh, yeah. The number one, because Instagram, is, A, has just become a commercial machine, but it's also just turning into Twitter. It's just turning into ads and hate and negativity, yeah. and it's bad. You know, if, if I had a teen I, or a tween, I would not let them on social media. I don't see the benefits. The Nothing. benefits... Whatever they gain, the contact, the social contact that they're going to have with people in their age group, it doesn't outweigh the negatives that come through social media. Uh, do you remember the other day I was talking about the woman, Angela Chow, mm -hmm. with the Tesla? Yeah. Just as, as an update as we end up this story. Uh, not that it has anything to do with, with Facebook or mm -hmm. social media, but uh, the Wall Street Journal is reporting that she, her blood alcohol level was 0.23. Three times the legal limit. Right. And so when she got into the Tesla, hit the wrong button, they say a video of her staggering, and then everybody in the family is like, it was just an unfortunate accident. Well, it yeah, was. When you're that drunk. Oh, my gosh. It was, that was, that's, that was, it's such a sad story. It really is. Is Tesla going to be held uh, responsible for? No. Of course not. No, They're a tech company. I forgot. That's it. It's a tech company. You know what? Not our fault. Nothing to see here. Mm-mm. Hey, it's Kim Commando today. It's your daily podcast about all things digital. We are welcoming your comments. So whether you're watching us on Facebook, Rumble, where else? X, YouTube, you got else? Those are the big boys. Those are the big boys? Yeah. Uh, make sure that you leave us a great comment because this way we will give you your 10 seconds of fame right here. Not necessarily fortune, just no. fame. <laughs> uh, fame right here on Kim Commando today. That's good enough. Fame's good enough. Well, you know, it's, it's like bragging rights. Yeah, they can, absolutely. They can grab the clip and then put it on their social media and say, I'm 72H547. That's why it benefits to use your name. So we can say Steve and not HP57254. No. Mm -mm. So, Are we going to read comments at the end of the show? Yes. Awesome. awesome. We always do that. I mean, and I get to pick the great ones. You do. The best ones. You're the arbiter. All right. So there's this video going around on TikTok. Four million views. The guy has a half a million followers. Okay. His name is Lionel Moreno. Okay. And I don't really know a lot of Spanish. Okay. 
But let's play the video. Mi gente, he pensado invadir una casa en Junei State. Ya que me enteré que existe una ley que dice okay, que so si una casa here's what's going no on. está habitada. Is Lionel is a, they call him in this story, wait, wait, Lionel in the story is referred to as a Venezuelan migrant. Mm -hmm. Illegal immigrant. Yes. Okay. And Lionel is telling all of his followers, his half a million followers, uh, in this video that's been viewed by four million times, that, let's see, here's the exact quote. If a house is not inhabited, we can seize it. So you can just go right in. And you, you don't have to live on the street if you're an illegal. You can just go into an empty house and take it over. Now, technically, that's not totally true. We have squatters' rights in a lot of the states in the United States. Not right. all, but right. there's some. But don't you have to have lived there for 30 days and prove that you've lived there for 30 days to have squatters' rights? Yeah, and that's what's happening in Queens mm -hmm. right now. There's oh, that. that story. Oh, my goodness. You know that it. Here. Poor woman. Here, talk about it. She has a, uh, She owns two properties. One of her properties has three tenants in it. Oh, no, this is another story. Oh, I don't know this one. <laughs> I'll tell you, I thought you were talking about the million-dollar house that the guy inherited. No, okay, yeah, see? This is a big problem. Okay, all right, tell me, tell me about this one. So a guy lives in the basement. Two people live upstairs. She wants them out of the home because their lease is up. They're refusing to leave. They're squatting. And the guy who lives downstairs is like, hey, if I got to get out of here, at least give me my deposit back. So he's squatting just for his deposit, and she's trying to get rid of the property. And now the media is surrounding this house every single day, taking pictures of the squatters, trying to get them on the record. And she cannot do anything with her home because they won't leave. No, it's a big problem. Okay, the one I was talking about happens in Queens. Okay. Okay, this 47-year-old guy, dad dies, and he inherits this million-dollar house. Okay? So he's fixing it up, and it's vacant. So some... Uh, illegal migrants just bop right in there. And in New York, I looked it up. A person, like you mentioned 30 days, a right. person only needs to be on the property for 30 days to claim the squatter's rights. This guy did not know that they were in the house. So they had no previous lease, no Nothing. agreement to live there. They just, how did they prove that they were there for 30 days? Taking selfies in front of the sink every day? Uh, they they put in a change of address. Okay. They put the utilities in their name. But they don't Everything. live there. And it's not their house. Oh, my God. So this is Queens, New York. Right. I know you've never been there. No. But there are certain things you don't do in Queens, New York. And so apparently, and I don't know if these two guys had anything to do with it, mm -hmm. but two guys in a truck <laughs> came by and said, you need to... Eviction notice time? Yes. And so now I guess that they're out. But it serves as a warning to anybody that if you have a vacant house, you know, you really need to pay attention. Well, first of all, you, you need to know the laws in your state. That's true, too. You need 100%, to know yes. if there are squatters' rights in your state. If someone just moves in and turns on the power, are they officially living there? Because New York, California, oh, states... Oh, California is horrible oh, at this. California is the worst. But states like this with certain leaning governments, uh, they will give the, the tenant the right over the owner every single time. So first of all, you need to know what your squatter rights are in your state. And how would you find that? I guess you could just do a Google search. Yeah. Look at chat. Look at chat or perplexity. I mm -hmm. still like perplexity much better than chat GPT, even though I'm paying for chat GPT. Um, but it's it's also something that, you know, what hits with me is that we own property. You know, I make some shrewd real estate investments. Okay. You know I mean, I buy I just heard about one yesterday. Yeah. You're like undercutting by 40%. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> they're never going to go for that. I'm like, of course they're not. But it's a starting point. It's a starting point. I mean, you know, so I always, I try to like figure out like where things are going. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I bought and sold property in Maui, you know, did very well at that uh, property here in Phoenix from time to time and commercial buildings and things like that. But one of my shrewdest investments, one of my shrewdest investments is that I own property. I do. I own a lot of acres. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. 
in Eloy, Arizona. Eloy? Why did you target Eloy? I have no idea. Okay. Well, and I don't know if I'm going to run with that advice. Um, well, my financial managers say that it was such a shrewd investment mm -hmm. that probably Ian's great-grandchildren are going to be benefiting from that, that purchase. So it's a short-term investment. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it came time to pay taxes on it, and I said to Barry, I said, you know, I said, we ought to go down and look at it. I mean... <laughs> Let's just go see it. And Barry's like, it's just a bunch of tumbleweeds. And How I'm like, was it? Did you go? You know, surprisingly, it didn't take us that long to get there. Okay. It's between, in case everybody knows, between Phoenix and Tucson. Mm -hmm. The Florence Prison is not far from there. Oh, so it has a view. Yes. <laughs> has a built-in, its own built-in economy. <laughs> um, and so we drive for like 50 minutes down on the freeway and I'm, I'm sitting there like on longitude and latitude, like is that really sure where it is? <laughs> so, <laughs> I got we Google. only can visit on the sun, where the sun's at high noon because <laughs> the shadow casts exactly. in the east. And it, honest to gosh, I'm sitting there with longitude and latitude on Google Maps trying to find this thing like, go down that dirt road. And, you know, Barry's got a lot of patience. He does. He's just got a lot of patience. And so... So we get there, and it's like, and there's like some sticks that show where the property is, mm -hmm. and uh, there's nothing around it. Nothing. Nothing. Just. So nothing. Do you still own it? Oh yeah, just nothing around it. And but the funniest part is, so we so we get out of the truck, and we're both standing there, and I'm like, you know, because you know I'm always positive. <laughs> you know, this could be something one day. Potential. This, I mean, I know it has no water. I know it has no power. I know it has no roads. But someday, it's going to be something. So when are you going to camp there? You and Barry in a tent? He looked at Barry, looked at me, and he said, Kim, this is probably the stupidest thing <laughs> you've ever done. <laughs> As the, you know, but as he said, I wish we had a video because as he was saying it, like, honestly, there were like tumbleweeds just going like that. Like, going like that. So when we're coming back to the squatter thing. Yes. This guy's got four million people watching this. Do you think this we're going to see an uptick? Yes. Yes. And, you know, and it kind of hit how close to home, not because of the Venezuela, but because, you know, of us getting mm -hmm. targeted by the South American Chilean gangs. Right. Which is, you know. But people who are here illegally doing illegal right. actions. Yeah, they're here on a travel visa. Oh, so they are here legally. Uh, no, their visa has expired. Ah. But they just came on vacation. That's all. That's it. They were just came to to Disneyland. Oh, so they were just getting souvenirs. Yeah, that was it. We have Maddie. <clears throat> yeah, I saw that video yesterday. He's angry, too. Who? That guy doing that video. Oh, yeah, he's mad. You don't know what he said, but you knew he was angry. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, it's Kim Commando today. We're so glad that you're here with us. Now, if you're getting the audio version and you want to get the video version, you have to go over to what? Andrew Rumble, Facebook, YouTube, or X. Is all that those. It? All of those. We're monitoring the comments and they are all streaming live. 11.30 on the uh, West Coast, 2.30 on the East Coast. Now, this is not the Kim Commando show. No. No. The, the big show is on... I don't know, over 420 stations. We're actually on 510 stations total. If you count all the elements of the Kim Commander yes, show. Yes, exactly. Um, so it's kind of a big deal. Kind of. Just a little. 500 is a large number. I'm on one radio station. <laughs> so you're on 500 times more than me. I know. You know what? When I look back, it's like, you know, I've been talking to Ian about this because, you know, and when you go through your early 20s, you're, you're going to go like, well, what am I supposed to do? What am I going to be? And how am I going to do that? And, you know, and so I had to have that talk with him. Like, you know, I, I don't expect you to achieve everything that I've been able to achieve. Right. I mean, because I didn't want to give him that pressure. Sure. You know, 
And I, then I, I, you know, I actually told him, I said, a lot of this is luck. You know, it's hard work, but I happen to pick, like, to focus on computer tech. At the exact right time, where it's just going to go from itty bitty to boom. boom. Exactly. Explosion. So if you want the Kim Commando show, you have to go to Apple uh, Podcasts or Spotify, or you can join the Commando community just a few bucks a month, and you can get that commercial free. And not only do you get all three hours, but I do an extra hour. I don't know if you know this. I do an extra hour every week just for WLS in, in of Chicago. Of course I know that. You did? Yes. Okay. So you get, they get the extra hour, too. On the po- on the uh, King on the Commander po- Show podcast. Yes. So imagine be- if you tried to do a Betamax uh, show back when you started, you wouldn't be as big. No. You wouldn't be as famous if you're like, hey, let me talk all about beta videos. Or unless it was porn, because porn was really big and beta <laughs> at that point. Have you ever seen the game show The Floor? No. So it's it's this crazy game show, but there was a point where they did technology and they show pictures of technology, and they brought up, brought up an eight track. No one knew what it was. No, and they, these were like people in their 30s. No one knew what an 8-track was. No. Do you remember when Frankie... Were you here the day that we were talking about mixtapes? Yeah. And Frankie, who worked uh, the cameras... Yes. What's a mixtape? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you sweet, sweet little boy. He was working for the Today Show, too, at that time. I was like, oh my God, I don't know what a mixtape is. Exactly. All right, let's look at our comments. Uh, Richard Allegro on YouTube says, Michigan State won today. Oh, Is that nice. a big deal? Well, you the not the eight nine matchup. They were definitely a uh, contender to win. Liz Dotson and I were BFFs. She says, "Hi, I hate basketball." <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I had Michigan State in my bracket. I'm glad I heard that. Uh, Bonnie Otts on Facebook says, uh, "WSB is where we first listened." I love that. WSB in Atlanta. We we've been there for so long. Uh, I'm not going to say what your number is because it's Scotty. I mean, Scotty said that uh, that Andrew should be a chatbot. <laughs> on the Tuesday and Thursday show. <laughs> it should. Me and a chat bot. Uh, Chuck H. on YouTube says, sounds like a repeat of Judge Green in 1984 with AT&T when it busted it up. We were talking about busting up Apple. They're not going to be able to bust up Apple. No, They're absolutely not. not. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. 24-hour boss on YouTube. That's what I need. A 24-hour boss. Uh, what's our thoughts on the TikTok ban? What do you think? I think that... Uh, there's more going on behind the scenes with the security issues that they're not letting us know about. I mean, we talk about propaganda and be able to reach out, but I think there's a little bit more that they know about that they're not like telling what? us. Maybe that important information, important information about important people is living on maybe things that they can use to bribe people on social media, maybe videos or DMs that were sent that are now in the Hands of the Chinese government. Ooh, that's a big conspiracy theory right there. Well, what do you think? I'm wrong? Not really. But I, something is that. Something, that, there's information that, I mean, it's 170 million Americans on TikTok. Crazy. That there is information on there that Chinese, the Chinese government has access to and can use or may have already used that is scaring all of the sec- national security agencies in this country. I can see that. I can see that. But it's. do you think it's going to happen, the ban? No, I don't think the Senate's going to pass it. Really? I don't. It's going to be a tough one. But even if it gets passed and it gets passed by the President of the United States, it's going to go directly to court. It's going to be challenged to be unconstitutional. I mean, this is a long roll. roll I ahead. understand that the Saudis said we'd give $40 billion to buy it. Wow. Well, that's the same thing. The, but the law that the House put together, Saudi Arabia, I, I think it's one of the bad acting countries. That's Steve not- Mnuchin is doing that with Saudi. It says, you know what, it's all this power play. And of course, Kevin O'Leary, he's like, I'm Mr. Wonderful. Yeah, he doesn't have the money. I mean, he's rich. <laughs> but he doesn't have, have the billion. money. Dollar. Uh-uh. Uh, Lee Kanchewitz Jewett says, I moved to Alaska from Arizona. In 2006. Now that's a that's a spread. Yeah. Think about that. You move from Alaska, oh, to Alaska from Arizona. Why would you leave Arizona? And go to Alaska. Our summers aren't that bad. I know, but that's a big difference. That's dramatic. Go from like 120 <laughs> degrees to a negative 120 <laughs> degrees. That's crazy. Uh, Time to ride on YouTube says you tip the person who maintains the bot and keeps the supplies and the beverage full. No, they clean up the mess that the customers make. That's what we do on cruise ships with robotic bars. We give cash to those people. That money going straight in the coffee sh- shop owner's pocket. And finally, this from Lou uh, Zara on YouTube. We should do this. Kim and Andrew should have an impromptu push-up contest to spice up the stream. <laughs> okay. You know, we always get, we've gotten a lot of requests. For? Push-up contests. <laughs> 
<laughs> one that we've never gotten here. What an odd way or place to put it, too. Yes. It's like, you know what those two people need to do? Push-ups. Push-ups. I'm going to go ahead and comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to close with a fun video. Yeah, this is so cool. And so um, I have a 92-pound golden retriever. Little pup. Little lap dog. Oh, my gosh, this thing. You should see, I have this big gouge on my arm. What? I thought you trained this dog. Me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let me rephrase. I thought you paid someone to train this dog. Um, Barry said he was going to take care of it. So would you consider your dog an obedient dog? You know, she has her ways. I mean, she's so darn cute. That is the words of a dog owner okay. right there. And I mean, like, and, you know, when I come home, she actually hears the truck coming up the hill. Mm -hmm. And she runs out on the patio. And then she runs to the front door. And she stands there with her ball like, hi, hi, where you been all day? Hi, I haven't seen you for like four hours. Oh, my gosh. I mean, she's adorable. Of course she's adorable. But all I hear is the stories of her getting into stuff and oh, not does. doing what this dog's doing. I know. Let's, this is a dog. The dog diving down. But don't, the... don't, no, don't say what is it. Don't okay. give the spoiler. The dog's diving. Look how the dog spirals down, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's a swimmer. Okay. Now, watch, watch him come up. How far, how deep do you think that is? I'm going to go with 18 feet. He went all the way to the bottom of this river. Okay. And he got a smartphone. Yes, he retrieved someone's phone. Can we look? I, I, I love this video. Let's just watch one more time. Just one more time. Can we queue it up one more time real quick? I showed this to Abby. My dog, I have a story with my dogs and technology. Oh, wait, here it is. Look, now look. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, he's going down. How is he breathing? He's going so deep. That's a his good breath. boy. But I know, I don't even think of dogs holding their breath. But look at that. Gills? Isn't that amazing? That's so wow. cool. Went down and saved someone's smartphone. So I showed that to Abby. And? I said, look, look what this dog can do. <laughs> Get and she's like, oh, you got a treat? I'd like a treat. <laughs> Let's play ball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have a dog. My dogs uh, have a technology story. They destroyed $1,100 worth of Apple AirPods. $1,100 All worth of? All four of my pairs. I don't know if it was the white case. I come home one day, and it looked like an Apple factory exploded in my front room. They destroyed all of my AirPods. They, they pulled just, them right off the chargers. And they just, did they eat them and yes, chew them off? they flipped open the cases, ate up all, all the earbuds, chewed on the cases. Maybe, were, did you have, like, some peanut butter on them or no, something? No, it was horrible. Well, obviously they weren't earbuds. Get it? Like the movie, earbuds? Just ended. All right. I thought that was a good one. I know. Just end it.